Today what I'm going to do is show you some techniques that you can use that are really easy to do using spray paint and you can get some great effects from this but also this stuff goes ever such a long way. I'll link everything that I use in the description below. Now I'm going to make sure I give these a really nice shake before I do anything else to them. <laughs> And I've got two moulds, they're the same design mould, this one's a bit older than that one, that's the only reason it's a little bit duller. Now, whenever you're using spray paints, anything that you don't want to cover in spray paint, then make sure that you cover that piece first. And don't worry, spray paint will come off your mould so easily once it's dry. And I'll quickly, I will show you that at the end. So don't think that you're going to be ruining your mould, because you're not. And the other thing you can use is, you can use this tacky paper to cover up the mold and only leave exposed the one that you want to actually do so i'm going to use that for this one there we go and for this what i'm going to do is put this little pattern inside this mold and all i'm going to do is hold this stencil onto there like that it would be easier if i could flatten it down but I don't want to cut this stencil. Well, I messed that up the first time, so I had to clean that off. So what I'm going to do is push this down like that and then give a quick spray. And that should leave you a nice pattern in there. Now, I don't want to mess that one up at all. So I'm just going to move me bits of paper about. I'm going to put that over there like that. I'm going to take a small bit of cardboard like this. And for this one, what I'm going to do is some shapes. So my cardboard is keeping that nicely clean okay i'm gonna let that dry and then these ones what i'm going to do is like a sweeping motion across them and do a solid color and now what i'm going to do is put that to one side and let that dry well this is all lovely and dry now and ready to have its next layer on but this stage i'm going to do with my resin once it's mixed up and i'm going to be using the t expert crystal clear for this because it's a great resin, mixes up really easily, but also it degasses really well. The other great thing about Crystal Clear by T Expert is it's always at a really, really affordable price. You get a gallon of it for such a great price. And often I have a discount code as well. So if I've got a discount code, I'll share that with you in the description below. Now my resin's mixed up, what I'm going to do is pour some of it into here because this is going to be used for one method well this is going to be used for two methods but in a different way and then i'm going to fill these up not quite to the top i want a bit of space in them because if not they will overflow and i don't want them to overflow <laughs> for this i'm going to add some um, white mica powder in it because that's going to be the base for that for these ones that i've sprayed and then all i have to do for these ones is fill these up with the white mica powder i'm going to burst any bubbles that have come up to the top on these using a long neck lighter again never a torch don't forget i ought to have that on a t-shirt didn't i long neck lighter never a torch and now I can move these ones out the way while I work on these ones. And now I'm ready to mix up my spray paint in my resin. But what's really important is make sure that you give all your cans a really good shake to mix them up before you spray them in there. They're all shaken up really well. Now what I'm going to do is spray into there quite a bit of all my colours and then give that a mix round so it absorbs all those colours and then pop them in my little thing that I made so that I don't knock them over because you know what I'm like, I'm likely to knock them over. Okay so now we've got that all done, what we can use is these and make some really nice patterns with them and all I'm going to do is drop this into this resin that I've already poured out in the moulds like this and I'm not making any specific pattern this is why you need to under pour these molds and I don't think I've quite under poured them enough so I'm going to take out a little bit of this resin without affecting the colour that I'm putting in. Oh that looks make, make that look really pretty isn't it? That'd make a great technique on his own I think. Now I'm going to pop some of this in. You can use whatever colours you've like but it gives a really lovely effect at the end. I did something like this about Four years ago I was looking through some of my old videos so I thought I would revamp it for now. I've been using spray paint in resin for a long long time and you can get some great spray paints now. And then we just put the final colour in and I'm going to have a go with the first one with doing that technique here by putting that in here and 
stacking those colours up just to see what happens to that one. And then I'm not going to do anything else to that one. But with these ones, what I am going to do is just take one of these sticks like this, wipe off the end, and then go around and do some swirly business in there. Okay, and then just leave it like that. And now, the reason I mixed up so much of this is because I want to show you this third technique of using it. So, for instance, here you could do a two-tone heart. You could do any sort of shape like that. You can do a solid gold one or bronze. This is actually bronze. And um, we can do a mixture here. So, there's so many different ways that you can use this. And it honestly, it comes out beautiful and doesn't affect your resin curing at all. So we can leave those to one side, let them cure up at the same time as the other ones are curing up. And then I bet you'll be really surprised how they come out. These are all cured now and gone nice and hard. Now I'm going to show you these ones first because these are the simplest ones to do. And look how pretty they come out by just blocking off the colour. These are the solid ones and again they come out lovely and pretty and there's that is very well attached to that resin. Over poured on that one but the silver one has come out great as well. Now I will put and pack these up and give these away as pocket hugs. And this is the one with the stencil on and if I hadn't stuck my finger in the middle of that one as you can see there my fingerprint. Well it's got to have my fingerprint on. The actual technique works really well. It comes out quite feathery. But sticking your finger in it doesn't help. And like I said, uh, this cleans up really easily and I'll show you that in a second. Now, this is the one where I did that experiment where I sucked it through the little pipette. And that has come out nice. That's come out pretty and layered. But it's these ones where I mix up the resin together that you'll be the most surprised of, I think. And that one's come out pretty. Nice lot of depth in that. And so has that one. Come out really pretty too. Maybe a bit too much white in them, but you can adjust that. So this is what I love about these colours when you're using these paints. And it doesn't always do it with many other things. You get these little veins of colour running through where it merges. Look at that one. Now, there's not other many other techniques that you can do that I know of where you can get those veins of colour running through your colours. And that one's come out pretty. So when you use the white and, the, and another colour, it will make these veins amazing. I think that is so pretty. And again, this cleans up really easily. All I do is give it a quick spray with my Big Wipes spray. Yeah, not sponsored by Big Wipes in any way, shape or form. They don't know I exist. And then let that sit for a couple of seconds. And look at that. Just comes off that mould. And if you let it sit for even uh, for a minute, then it will just come completely off. Look where it's been sitting longer. It's just coming off. And not only that, but this stuff seems to condition your moulds at the same time. It gives a great clean for your moulds. Once you've got that dry, all you need to do is go over it and dab it dry using a paper towel. Now don't rub too much with a paper towel because paper towels can be a little bit abrasive and they can leave little marks on the inside of your mould and dull it a little quicker. So if you dab it, then you're getting a really clean mould. It's spotless. Lovely. Really simple way of colouring mould to get some great techniques. Love the way that that gives those little strands through it. And it usually does it when you've used a white. All that through metallic spray paint, which is really cheap to buy and lasts forever. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out the video that I've got coming up next. I think you'll love that one. Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button. But most of all, enjoy your resin. Take care. Bye.